Sometimes when you got a light on your mind You wanna drink all night You wanna drink all day Sometimes you need someone to lend you an ear When you're halfway drunk But you got something to say That's what this show is all about You wanna join in, just give a shout we won't hear you cause we're pre-recorded Alright, check one, two, I'm good Josh, my girlfriend's listening Okay So, I should, what, be easy on edit. you? No, 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 edit, no okay. Okay. I was just saying, hey, there she is Doesn't she normally listen? Is she like a regular listener? Yeah. yeah Okay, then what's the big deal? There's not one I was she's, just saying, she's, she's right there she's just, I was just saying, hey, Josh, here. my girlfriend's yeah. listening Okay. I wasn't like she's spying on us. I was just like she can. She's listening. You're like you're like super proud that you have a girlfriend, aren't you? Well, look at when she listen to her and just be around her. She's awesome. Okay. All right. Well, this, this is one way to get started. Well, welcome to another edition of the Table One Podcast. I'm Josh Madden. I'm Todd. So keep your hands off, skanks. I'm taking. And I'm Scott. Hey, Scott has Scott. a girlfriend too. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> Scott, anyway, <laughs> Scott's never listened to the podcast before. He's been here when we're recording it, obviously. But uh, he made me feel guilty for him not uh, having done the show yet. Uh, but he, yeah. Yeah, he was like, "I haven't been on the show, well, no, but it's whatever." Yeah, it's like I everybody just, else. It's whatever. Been. Well, he's yeah, like, yeah. he's like, it doesn't really matter. But you know, I've been on the show. It's whatever. It didn't really matter. Well, we are kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point. Uh, yeah, oh. and that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's still some goodness down there. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you know, it's been a couple weeks. I've been busy. Yeah, you, you you haven't been busy. No. You've just been just you drinking. Know, yeah, pretty much. That's what you do. But anyway, I think you had already had the camping trip before the last episode, but we didn't talk about it. Because he what, didn't go. Because I didn't go. You didn't go on the camp. What happened? I had to work, man. You had to work. You got to pay bills. So explain. Wait a minute. Wait. Like the day before. No, I just. The day I realized. You I realized going. I couldn't swing it because I had just got back from Nashville the week before, and then okay. that week leading up, I just couldn't swing it. I had too much stuff that I had to. Damn. Take I went. You Scott went. Oh, I you went in his place. Did. You took his no, place. No, no, no. I go either. No. Oh, no. They, I, they, I, they I started way before Scott. him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Scott has his own place. Yeah, I got my own deal. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, anything happened on the camping trip worth mentioning? We had a good time. The water was okay. great. The levels right. were great. The water level. Um, Anybody make an drank? ass out of themselves? Um, Did Brad try to fuck a guy again? No, not yeah, this time, is, okay. but, <laughs> but, you know. I always love to tell that. Hey, Brad, remember the time you tried to fuck that guy? Oh, Starla. Or you almost fucked that guy. That's oh, Starla, yeah. They got pretty lit, though. And, and I learned that John and Brad have their own little language. Yes. When they hit this certain level of drunkenness, They're which like is kind of like, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they sort of, and then they understand each other. Yeah. That was funny. That's weird. Yeah. Was everything a competition to them? It, it was a competition of who could sort of bleh, more. <laughs> okay, that was it. It's like it's like a late '90s beer commercial. Like, wah, wah. Yeah, wah. yeah. Like, wah. Brad and I have this running thing where last time or it's time before last time camping, he popped open a bottle of Corona at nine in the morning and started drinking. And I'm like, Brad, Jesus, you know, what are you doing? He's like, beer don't get you drunk, Todd. <laughs> Well, that's, that was that the twenty fifth window. But, the but, 25th but window. yeah, he told me that on this trip, Scott, you can elaborate on that. The twenty fifth beer does get Brad drunk. <laughs> and then, actually, this trip we had a new deal because we had a sponsor. It was sponsored by Mellicorn, which was cool. <laughs> I saw the bottle in the group yeah, message. It was I didn't sponsored understand. by Mellicorn. I'm in the camping group message even though I didn't go because it was added before, and then I said I couldn't go, and I was just never taken out. Uh-huh. So I'm just seeing all these inside jokes where I'm like, I think like, they were just rubbing it. it in your face, probably. Pretty much at that point. Pretty yeah. much. But I did take a picture with Scott's girlfriend while he was gone and say thanks. Absolutely. <laughs> Good enough. Good time. <laughs> but because of where we were, I didn't see it for two days. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I told her. I was like, I was like, Scott's not gonna see this until they're on their way back. Right. Keep, yeah. Keeping the home fires burning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She but was yeah. a good sport. She so, was like, I don't want to. Do- okay, that'd be funny. <laughs> At first, yeah. she was like, I don't think. Well, okay, let's do. This. Yes. In the past, we've had some great camping stories. So that's why I said I just wanted to know if anything happened particularly. No, we didn't have a staller this time, unfortunately. Yeah. John, John um, did get too drunk to cook burgers again. Did that happen? <coughs> yes, again? yeah, that, that, happened, that happened the time and, before and, last too. Yeah, Tyler had to, yeah. to step up and do it, or as we called him during the camp out, Big Crikey, because he had this <laughs> Australian hat. Did he have the big, like, <laughs> nice. 
Big like Steve Irwin. Steve <laughs> Irwin. Well, let's see, he went from the sombrero to when I went, he had the captain's hat. I yeah. That's what he was wearing. Yeah. And he had and the, the green sombrero before. Right. This green. one, he had the Australian sort of outback. He always yes. has the best hat. He did. It, yeah. it absolutely fit him. Did people from stop you? From the standpoint of it just looked good. Scott, on. and Berlin's here too, Berlin Parker. Berlin, Berlin went on the camping trip as well. Yeah. Did anybody stop y'all and comment on how awesome his hat was? Yeah, crikey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's big crikey. Oh, sorry. Big crikey. <laughs> Berlin said, hell yeah, people did. Yeah. Both times I went, the captain hat and the other one, it's everybody. Yeah. Hey, that's that. So was it pretty busy with lots of, lots of people out? A lot of people out there that weekend. But we had a good time. It wasn't overpacked, and it was yeah. it was cool. It, we had a good time. It would been fun if Todd would have been there, but it was probably more fun because he wasn't. Uh, <laughs> well, right. I still have my football. At least I wasn't thrown on a fire this time by a very drunk John Jeter. Right. <laughs> That like was the funny. Next, the next day, John, I didn't throw your football on fire. Look at this football. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I don't know if you told that story. Deny, deny, yeah, it deny. Was, basically, we were just tossing the football around. John's like, hey, give me that. No, basically, he was annoying the shit out of me, and that's the reason I was sitting on the other side of the fire. Well, I know, so but, to, but know, basically, he asked for the football, so we just tossed it to him, and he just throws it in the fire. Yeah. You know, like, you toss it to him, no hesitation. Like, he just talked like a piece of garbage and yeah. just looked away. Like, it wasn't nothing. And I'm like, takes you a second, like, I processed it. I just kicked it. Get out yeah. of the fire. John was awesome. Things no, he was he not, was Josh. Awesome. <laughs> he was not awesome. He was the opposite of awesome. He told me I shouldn't own my dog. <laughs> really you talking about Party off. John? Oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> told you you were a bad parent, told basically. told me I was a bad dog parent. Yeah. Dang. Uh, I know. That hurt my feelings. That sucks. That's, that's terrible. I'm going to let that sink in for a second. I know. Yeah. Y'all feel that, listeners? Yeah. It's pain. pain. You gotta let that, let that simmer for But you kind of... No, never mind. <laughs> Tyler said he wished Sunday would get cancer and he'd throw her off the balcony or something. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was But that, was, that wasn't that was on the camping trip. <laughs> he, he immediately took it back. Yeah, on the camping but, trip, he was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. But then he was over at my old place that had a balcony. He was like, I'll throw that... He was drunk. He was like, I'll throw that bitch off the fucking balcony right now. And he, was like, and he goes, come here Sunday. <laughs> and she started walking up. I'm like, Tyler... That's awesome. Okay, so I had a couple of other things I was going to talk about, but then I ran across this headline that somebody posted. We have to discuss this. This happened. FBI seizes over 3,000 penises during raid at morgue employees' home. Wow, what a dick. Was he chopping them off? Yeah, he, he chopped them off of the corpses and was keeping them in jars huh. at his own house. 3,178 embalmed human penises. What is he doing with that? I don't know. They're in jars. They're, I mean... They're embalmed, so they're like, you know, let's let's get to the meat of the matter here. They're not flaccid. Right? Right. Apparently, I don't know how that works. I don't either. Uh, I mean, once they're not... I've never seen a mummy anything, cock, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that's well, about. Well, okay, there were hundreds of glass jars, and each of them had a penis floating in formalin, which I don't know what formalin is. I guess some kind of like... Embalming fluid, Embalming maybe. Fluid or something. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, apparently that happened. Wow. Yeah, I'm not it's asking you to come up with a bunch of jokes on this. A lot on of the penis. Fly. I'm just saying. <laughs> it, it, it was a lot just, of penis. Yeah. It's just quite a. Looks like those customers really got the shaft, you know. You know, just when you so, bury them, you want to bury all. So here's all the thing: them. an anonymous FBI source. <laughs> So they have Donnie Brasco up in that bitch? <laughs> like, Anonymous. Well, here's the thing. Well, here's the thing. Uh, right now, there's a total of 53 criminal charges filed against him. That's not even one per dick. I know. Yeah. That's like that's pretty pathetic. And uh, But it says, basically, there's... Maybe there should some be, over micro penis. There should be over 3,000 when they're all done. It's pretty obvious when you say there are 3,178 penises that there should be 3,178 charges. Yeah. Uh, I mean... But what is... What, <laughs> What's the, the charge? What's the charge there? I don't know. I'm sure desecrating uh, human remains yeah, or something yeah. like that. Something along those lines. Would it be more to it than that? I mean, what would be the laws in the books about this? I mean, if you get six months, you're spending 1,500 and something years in jail. But there's no way you get it. That doesn't happen. No. I don't think you're going to give this guy a lie. I, well, Should you just – okay, the, the question, though, is this is a serious one. Uh -huh. Should you die in jail because of this crime? For I mean, penis stealing? He didn't, stealing. Well, he he didn't, didn't kill anybody. He didn't kill anybody. Yeah. He They're already dead. He didn't technically hurt anybody. No. So, yeah. Uh, well, apparently they're they're keeping him in custody until they get a psychiatric evaluation. Yeah, okay, Which, obviously, you need, yeah, one. Yeah, you need one of those for this guy. He needs to be checked out. Now, here's the other question. 
the anonymous FBI source, did they did they check the downstairs and just be like, holy shit, there's dick missing, and then they launched an investigation and then they found more dicks? Oh, you, so you're saying they found a missing... I'm, I'm thinking somebody else is fucked up in the head, too. By looking, He's got an accomplice, is what it, you're thinking. Just, they're messed well, up it, it takes a lot of it. effort for one guy to just, just looking slice at the downstairs off. He's got a penis, yeah. buddy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you think it could have been an inside, inside job? <laughs> I didn't mean for that to be funny. <laughs> Damn it. Um, well, I mean, okay, let's let's back up on this. Let's not uh, back up. Let's uh, not back up on this. Um, not today, sir. <laughs> so, why do you need three thousand or over three thousand of these things? Why do you need one? Why, that's what I'm saying. Why do you need no, one anyway? But, is yours. but I figure if once you've got one, or even say a dozen, why the need to keep going with that? It just seems a bit excessive. Just a bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't, well, you can question motives all day, but... Take up a lot of space, that could, too. That's a lot of space. Yes, that would take up a lot. Jar, the amount of jars that it would... 3,000 jars takes up a lot of space. How do we have classified alphabetical or numerically? You know okay. I mean? Well, think about it. <laughs> we're going, we're going last seen, name or we're going length. You've seen the wall of movies I have in my house. Yeah. DVDs are slim. You can pack those pretty close together. Right. A jar... Okay, I've got like 2,000 movies on my wall. Yeah. I've helped alphabetize those I know, before. but say say five or six of those movies is one jar. Yeah. So it's going to take like ten times the wall space. Like, like, so you're saying he had like a like a secret dick dungeon. Like something okay. hidden away. Something, like a dick yeah, I mean, there, there had to have been, this had to have been like all through his house. It had to have been everywhere. Unless they were just, he was just going like Howard Hughes and just piling them on the floor. In which Hide case. Them in walls. <laughs> right, I mean. <laughs> he had a penis you, room. Yeah. He had a penis house. How, how do you? I'm telling you. Okay, think about this. I, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this to you in numbers. Again, my wall of DVDs. Yeah. It's about. I guess it's about seven feet high. Yes. And yeah, then I, I would say probably 16 feet long. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's a good size wall. Seven foot by 16. That's a good size wall. But what man needs 2,000 DVDs? Well, what I'm saying is that <laughs> if you were to do these in jars, this would this would be the entire that outside. Would be, that would be the whole. Every half, wall in my house. That would be that would be over half your house. Yeah. Yes, I mean that's insane. Of dicks. How does how did he get away with it for long enough to was he selling accumulate them? that? Was it, was he had to be selling penis. You think he was selling do them? Do you like, sell those on the black market? Dude, is that think think about it. If there's a guy willing to chop them off, there's somebody willing to buy them. What do you do with the jar? A Why penis do you do in the it in the first place? Is he just a collector? I, was that like his thing? Is he selling them to medical labs? No. no, no. That you, you get caught for it that. It could be a compensator. Like he's compensating for his own little, say. <laughs> and, it, and it's like his four-wheel drive, big jacked up truck. Yeah. Instead of having that, <laughs> so he's got same. penis. You know what I mean? Know. If a country boy can have a jacked up truck, then a right, doctor can have just a right. bunch of dick. But, He's compensating but, but, for his, his own insecurity. The thing about that is, you want people to see it when you're compensating. You'd be like, hey, look what I got. You think this guy's hanging out his front door going, hey, come check out my wall of penises. It ain't happening. He got caught know. somehow, though. Yeah, well, there's been somebody. <laughs> it was somebody that helped or somebody that just well, was checked him out. Yeah. I don't know. I go back to, like I said, I don't know why you would need them in the first place. Obviously, you don't need them. Why would you want them? What you would you what do like with them? Here's, here's my thing. I like to think it was a thief that broke in and was like, whoa, I need to get out of here. <laughs> There's nothing to steal here but penis. Because I'm not going to just get shot. This dude bailed out real quick two days and later. He's like, college. I should say something. Like, I'm just a thief. <laughs> I don't chop off dicks. Like, there's different right. levels. So he's I like, I was going to rob this house, and it's full of penis. Yeah, well, he was like, so he was like, he was like I'll tell y'all I was about to rob this house, but y'all got more pressing matters. Of, what happens if right. you get locked in the house? Like, don't breathe victim. that movie with the blind guy? Yeah. Say, what if the penis chopper off guy decides just locks you in, and now you're stuck in the penis house with this guy? See, now. That's no, a horror no, movie right no, there. Chopping off his penis would be excessive, too. So what would he do to this guy? He I mean, would chop off his penis. Yeah, he's got to. because he's Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He wouldn't do it because he'd be like. He'd be like, fella, look, I've been going too far, and you know my thing, so... Well, that's his go-to. His go-to is the penis. Yeah. You like, think, that's you think, where he's going. You think he would make the offer? Like, look, if you let me chop off your penis, I'll let you go. No, I bet he was like, you do it or I'm doing it. But either way, that dick's coming off. I know, but but if you made that deal with the guy, and that's the only way you could get out of that house, would you make that deal, Todd? Would you lose your penis to, the li- to save to your life? I was born with my penis. I'm dying with my penis. That's me. <laughs> you know but what? That's just me. That, that's, that's my penis. I like. I really like my penis. That's my penis. I don't think I, I can cut it off. Penis. My, okay, I think I'm, I would rather 
Yeah. Hey, can't you get? Can you get like a pump up one, like some Nike shit? They make wonders it's not these the days. Same. Yeah. yeah, but still, it's not the same. It's definitely it's not the same. Well, could the could the person like notice it's not well, the same? Did could, could I make it look real enough? Could they make it look real enough? Didn't that John Bobbitt guy like get into porno and stuff afterwards? Yeah, but they still sew, they like sewed his they back. Sewed his back. They, on. Didn't they sew oh, it back on? They did. Didn't they find it like on the side of the they road? They found they it did. on the side of the road. So yeah, that's insane. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Now, I think our I think our dick chopper offer guy, which I don't even know his name. I don't think it released his name. Let's call him Doctor Scott Antley. What? <laughs> okay, why I just not? Came up with that name. So Doctor Antley. Um, <laughs> what? He, he, <laughs> so first first of all, he obviously he's doing this while he's working at the morgue. He's chopping him off. So he's yeah. only doing it to dead people. So I don't think he would do it to a live person. I don't think he would get the same. But if. I don't think he would get off the same way, you know. So you think he gets off? The doing he, this. He's got to. Why else would you do this three thousand one hundred seventy-eight times? Oh, are I you scared? Him just, the, you know the confrontation written there either with a court. Like whole, he's not going to have the film, confrontation. Like him just fucking going to town on himself. <laughs> I'm fighting for my penis. Weird. Somebody's green, trying to like cut a it off. I'm fighting. Room of dicks. You, I'm going to fight. <laughs> I'm keeping my penis, damn it. Yeah. Um, do you think he cut his own penis off? You no. think he self mutilates? Uh, I think he might self mutilate, but I don't think yeah. he would be extreme to himself because he's alive. He wants I'm, to do it to the dead. I, I don't know why I'm morbidly curious about this whole case now. I, after we've talked about this much, it could I really, be that he's trying to compensate again for his yeah. own deal, and he's trying to find like the perfect penis. And he's had 3,400 chances, and he hasn't got think, there yet. I, okay, I would think this guy's still disturbed. But what if he switched him? What if he switched him? If he, wait, what? If like he, on the cadaver? He sewed him back onto the wrong one? Because yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's got nothing else to do. Take a Jewish guy and a black yeah, guy. Yeah, what if Martha just, wants to look at Albert him. one more time and she's like, wait oh, a second. Man. This ain't the right thing. So this is a mortician, though. This That's is not a, the one I'm familiar with. <clears throat> this is the cat that had a professional job, right? He's a mortician. He's yeah. an embalmer. He went so to, he's, is there school for that? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah there's definitely gonna, a school. Yeah. They probably have but not chiropractors, right, Josh? No, just, chiropractors are not real doctors. God, what are you no. Here we go again. Hey, you brought it up. You brought it up. You knew what I was going to say. By the way, you don't call your chiropractor and explain to them the problem you have what? without even going to see them and, t- and take their advice he was as right. being like he a was doctor. right, though. How do you know he was right? Well, because it was the same thing that I described. Because it went away? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, back to chopping off dicks. Back to Dr. Antley. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna follow up on this case. I want to see what happens. I think you should uh, delete your internet history each time you go to some page. <laughs> yeah, this is true. I, I, I mean, I think they're gonna be looking for this now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you know anything about the game that we play? Scott. Uh, I know the game like, would you like <laughs> very <play>? well, <laughs> but <laughs> not this particular game. Okay, so here's the way it works. This is the game that we like to call, Who the Fuck Said That? Who the Fuck Said That? Who the fuck said that? The way this works is this. This is basically a quote game. Todd's going to read you a quote. You're going to try to guess who said that quote. It's okay. a real life quote. It's not from a movie or anything. It's like a real life quote but that in, person said. It's usually but from I'm an actor. He's going to read it okay. in my voice. Okay. Quote. Yeah. Right. He's going to read it in his regular voice. If you can guess it without any help, you get three points. Nice. Now, don't take a guess at it if you don't know because no, you, you only get one guess. Just shoot right. to Jay like I do. Shoot to Jay. No, every don't, time. don't do that. That's... Okay. So, if you don't know from just the quote, you can ask him to do an impression. He'll do an impression of the person saying the quote. Okay, and I got do, it. I do. Awesome if you impressions. if you can guess it at that point, then you get two points. Okay. If at that point you're still not sure after his pathetic, stupid impression, right? Uh, by, then you can he, he then you can awesome. then you can ask for multiple choice. Got it. And at that point, you only get one point. But still, that's better than nothing. Todd, on the other hand, will hardly ever go to shoot the J. Steph Curry. Yeah. Throw it up. Right. 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 Every so, time. Now you're wearing a Golden State shirt, Josh. I am. I got this. You. Hey, turncoating mother. You know why I'm wearing this? Fucker. Because I got it for free because I was at game five two years ago. Game five. Yeah. All right. Well, it's right, right there. You still should have a little shake. When LeBron went off for like 40, 12, and 10, and they still lost. I still lost, yeah. yeah. But hey, it was, it was impressive. Anyway, it's enough of that. To, you got to see LeBron. Now, one of these cards is going to be a music double up, which means that it's going to be a quote from a musician. 
So when you do the impression of that musician, you're going to have to sing the quote like they would sing it. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. All right, Scott, would you like to go first or second? In other words, would you like to read or would you like to guess? I will guess. All right. Here we go. First quote from Todd. Here we go. <laughs> I actually knew this one. Okay. I don't even know which one it was. Sometimes I'll do something and think, that's so Raven. Other times I'll do something and I'll be like, that was not very Raven. <laughs> I actually didn't know this one. <laughs> it's a great quote. If you have no idea, you can ask for the impression. I'll take the impression. I feel like I have to stand up. Yeah, you probably I mean, I can. can stand up. But just, if you want to, if you want to hold your, hip and like if you want to hold cut. your mic with one hand, you can do that. But sometimes I'll do something and think, "This is a tough one to do." Okay, just, just try find, again. Find your voice, Todd. Just yeah. find your voice. Sometimes I'll do something and think, "That's so Raven." Other times I'll do something and I'll be like, "That was not very Raven." That's a tough one. To yeah, that was very Todd. That was just, that was, yeah, was just that Todd. Was just, that was just Todd being Todd, apparently. Yeah. That's the best he can do. The best he can do is put his hand on his hip while he's talking. That's kind of how this does. This you want to give it one more go? Or is that the best you can do? That's really the best. That's the best he can do? Uh, that's a hard one to do. Would you like multiple choice? Uh, I'll take the multiple choice. All right. Daniel Tosh. Okay. Zach Galifianakis. Or Will Ferrell. I'll go with Zach Galifianakis. Yes. There you go. Nice. Absolutely. Very well done. One point. All right, here we go. Next quote. I hate it when people say, nice to meet you, before I've even said anything. How do you know it's nice to meet me? I'm an asshole. All right. I like an impression. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's prepping himself. I'm trying to get into character. Okay, yeah. You got to. I mean, that's... I don't know how to do a Galifianakis. I hate it when people say, it's nice to meet you, before I've even told them anything. How do I know it's nice to? How do you know it's nice to meet you? I'm an asshole. You want to give it one more go? I'll do multiple choice. You sure you don't want to give one more try? We might get into it more one the second more time. Try. One, one more. Try. It takes a line or two to get into it. One more time. I'm trying to get into character again. Yeah. I hate it when people say nice to meet you before I've even said anything. How do you know it's nice to meet me? I'm an asshole. Uh, multiple choice. Okay, multiple choice. Jack Nicholson. Tommy Lee Jones or Bruce Willis? I almost said Bruce Willis. Final answer. No, it it yeah. definitely sounded more Bruce Willis, but that was Jack. Ah. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. If I'd have had the shades, that would have yeah, been. Yeah, if you'd had the shades. Yeah. I started to give you my glasses. Yeah, but, I could have. Since they weren't shades, I didn't know if they would help. You know. All right, so. Uh, yeah. Who's sick for Todd? Uh, all right, so Scott still leads one to nothing. He's off to an insurmountable lead. I love this one. Why do people say grow some balls? Balls are weak and sensitive. If you really want to get tough, grow a vagina. Those things take a pounding. I'm not able to phone your girlfriend, though, right? <laughs> uh -uh, Brandy. You know it? Brandy knows it. All right. Would you like the impression? I think I would like the impression. Shit. Just because it's funny to watch the impression. Oh, I would love to see this yeah. impression. <laughs> he doesn't know how to do this. Get into your feelings, man. Get into your feelings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just do your best to make it sound more like that person than the other two. That's all, all you can do. <laughs> Shit. Why do people say grow some balls? Balls are weak and sensitive. If you really want to get tough, grow a vagina. Those things take a pounding. That's so terrible. I don't know how to. That's fucking so do this terrible. One. Multiple choice. <laughs> yeah, you better. Sarah Silverman. Betty White, Roseanne Barr. I'm going to say Roseanne Barr. <laughs> no, Todd just did a horrible Betty White impression. Was what that really? Was. Betty White? That was his Betty too? White. If I would have done Roseanne, I would have went more nasally. If I would have done Sarah Silverman, well, yeah. I would have went more nasally. I and I almost went with, with Betty like the White. Golden Girls Betty White with, yeah. the, with like the Minnesota accent type of thing, you know? How? Like how? Josh. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't I have mean, to. How do you do? I don't have to. Okay, so still one to nothing. One nothing. One nothing, Scott. Here we go. I'm not the archery pal, leading man. This is mainly for one reason. As you may have noticed, I have no hair. Say that again. One more time. I'm not the archery pal, leading man. This is mainly for one reason. As you may have noticed, I have no hair. I'm not the what, leading man? Arch Archetypal? Archetypal. Okay. Archetypal. Okay. I'd like an impression. Thank you. <clears throat> I would too. I would love an impression. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. 
<laughs> you don't know who this is? Okay, hold is on. This from Betty White too. <laughs> I will show, show me a picture show and then I'll go. Show me a picture and then I'll get it. You know that you know who that is. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm only thinking of the one show I know. Well, that's from. okay. You can go for that. You can go for that then. Nothing wrong with using their characters. Sometimes that works. I'm not your archer leading man. This is mainly for one reason. As you may have noticed, I have no hair. I should have just called this game Bad Impressions Part 2 is what I should have called yeah. this game. That's what it is amounted to, but, you know. Multiple choices. It's all good. Can you, can you do one, one more time? One more time. Well, let me think. This cat has an accent, right? Yeah, if you could pull it off. Of course, he just told you that he has an accent now, so he got, he got that one for free. Although he didn't tell you what type of accent. Could be French. Could be Canadian. Could it be Austrian? <laughs> I'm not your answer a pal. <laughs> Leading man. This is mainly for one reason. As you may have noticed, I have no hair. I have somebody in my head, but... Well, he narrows it down. He has no hair. That narrows it down, for sure. Patrick Stewart, final answer. That is correct. That is correct. Tide goes up, two to one. We got two of these left. One of them is the double up. I don't know which one. But one. But one. All right, here we go. So, Todd is up two to one. Next quote. You must never underestimate the power of the eyebrow. You put some good other ones I did. On I, picked, I picked some good ones, <laughs> you didn't put I? some good ones on that yeah. one. Yeah. It all comes down to the impression on this one. Yeah. Oh, by the way, there is only one rule in this game, Scott, and that is in the event of a tie, I, I win. Yeah, Todd loses. So that's it. I knew that rule, because yeah. that's a good rule. Right. I'm going to go with the impression. <laughs> I feel like I know where it's at, but I just want the impression. He's working his hair. Yeah, no. Here we go. I feel like I'm going to sound like a wrestler. You probably will. Step into a but that kind of works in a strange way, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. <laughs> you must never... Wait, hold on. Got to go ahead and guess it now and get the two? No, you, you don't. Well, you yeah, wait, at least wait till he says it. I was yeah. not doing camera one, camera two there, okay. by the way. No, no, no. That's what you thought of. No, no, no. no. All right, that's okay. I got it. That's okay. I got well, it. wait and see. Let's see. You must never... Un <laughs> Shit. <laughs> How do you do that? I don't know. I could have done the other two. I know you could have. Sometimes the bad impression is what allows him to get it if he waits to guess the multiple choice. I've got it. I could have done the other two. All right, come on, go give it to him. You must You're never doing. underestimate. You must never underestimate the power of the eyebrow. Now keep in mind, Scott, this is your last chance to get any points, and you need at least one point to tie him. I got it. You got it. You sure? You got it. All right, go for it. I'm gonna say. You sure you don't want final choice? I mean, the, you sure you don't want no, multiple choice? No, I'm going choice. for it. He's going, going all in. for the win. It's going all in. If you tie, in. you win. Well, if you tie, you win. That's right. So one point will tie you. And if I don't get anything, then you win. But if I get one I'm gonna point, say Dwayne Johnson. Oh, oh, dude. That was one of the choices, but that was not it. Jack his Black. his his Dwayne Johnson Jack is Black. actually uh, passable. Yeah. Is passable. You must never yeah. underestimate. The power of the Abra. Yeah, see, he would he would have done Got that. It. That was a Got it. And the other one is Eugene Levy, which is the dad from uh, American, American Pie. American Pie. Right, right. So you must okay. never underestimate the power. I thought it was. Of the I thought I had it. Yeah, that's great. If he was like no a worries. German he scientist is. or something. <laughs> Actually, totally. Jesus. If he was comedian. <laughs> it's the opposite. German scientist versus okay. Jewish comedian. So Todd is up two to one. one. And the last one is for Todd. Still got to do it anyway, even though Todd pretty much is one at this point. Wow. But here is the music double up. Uh, this is a quote from a musician. Are you ready? I'm ready. Sometimes I'd wish I could drive a car, but I'm going to drive a car one day, so I don't worry about that. <laughs> it's just the most random fucking quote. I love it. It's just, it's my favorite one. <laughs> All right, let's get that sweet ass impression. <laughs> let's see that impression. You gotta sing the line while doing an impression of the person that did it. All right. Okay. This is you. You ready? Okay. Someday I wish <laughs> I could drive a car, but I'm gonna drive a car Josh. one day. Why Don't worry do about that? it. He is swinging his neck about while looking straight up with his eyes closed. <laughs> So we got Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Four points for Todd. Oh, say him, Josh. Josh. What? <laughs> Did he really said that. Stevie Wonder said that. Sometimes I wish I could drive a car, but one day I'll drive a car, so I don't worry about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, 
Okay. You know Stevie Wonder has gotten a car and went out in the middle of a big parking lot or the desert and just drove his ass off one day. Absolutely. You know that has happened. That's happened. I'm sure. It has to have happened. I know he was on the old Saturday Night Live commercial with the camera, and he was, like, using the camera to take pictures. It was like Kodak whatever. The camera's so easy, even Stevie Wonder can use it. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Anyway. So Ty takes the win this week. Give it up yeah. for Ty. Yeah. You gave it, man. Just gave it. You gave it. it. You, you gave it away. You, know, you can't uh, deny that, bro. Uh, <laughs> that was the best impression of the night. That was. <laughs> that was a really good one. <laughs> okay, so it's about that time. I said that with like a lot of energy, almost like. Yeah, it's yeah. almost that time. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. My name's Carl. All Welcome right, uh, to Safari Lounge. Wait, what Where is the beer's cold, the girls are hot. Did somebody used to say that when you worked at Safari Lounge? No, it just sounds like every strip club I've ever been one. into. Oh, okay. So every how did you... Every strip club I've ever been into was... Yeah. But did you hear when, when Todd was DJing at the uh, Yeah, when I DJed club? at Safari. I did not. Did I'm you like, get on the mic and, and introduce the strippers? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Did you did you Diamond. try to make it sexy? Did you no. try to? I was like, "All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is blah blah blah." I was I sounded like a classic rock DJ, I like to think, like a late night one. Let me ask you something. Is that the job you're most embarrassed about in your life? Yeah. Okay, good. Because it it's... strippers are terrible people, most of them <laughs> that I worked with. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it at that. Uh, so it's about that time we like to end the show with a good joke, or at least a joke. It doesn't have to be a good joke. Scott, you got a joke? I do. Okay. I have what one. You got? And and I got this off Google, so it's not like it, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I stole it, but it's not funny. It's more corny, but whatever. That's what we do. And it uh, it says, "Why did Sally fall off the swing?" Why is that? Uh, she has no arms. <laughs> uh, knock knock. It's a two part. It's a two part. <laughs> okay. Knock knock. Who's there? Not Sally. Oh, oh you shit. son of a bitch. That's good. That's good. There you go. That's good. Do you, do you know any good knock knock jokes, Todd? Any that we haven't done? No. Okay. All right. So, so, what, what so you got? well, I have a story. Starla. The story. My girlfriend Forget was about tell it. us. It's not really funny. <laughs> it was just. It was funny at the time. We were at the uh, hibachi place, and they have a, a little tile, little pond with koi fish and all this stuff in it. Okay. And there was one that was it was struggling. It was like all on its side. It was on its kinda. side. It was kind of going in a circle. Flipping one flipper. We thought yeah. it was dead for a second and then yeah. it would pop back. And then it would like turn its, you know, back or the side to the rest of the fish. Right. And she was like, I think it's dead. I was like, no, it's just playing coy. Just Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, but she went back today. Side note. <sighs> it's dead as fuck. And it's just, it's just laying there in the, in the water. They didn't. They didn't at least serve it up or anything. I mean, ah, put that shit on some sushi. It's fresh. Yeah, it's you know? What the hell? You know. So, do you know why having a two-story brothel is a bad business model? Why? Because there's too much fucking overhead. Dang, man, that's that's kind yeah. of that's that's kind of good, but it, yeah. eh, you went there. Yeah, <laughs> you went there. That's the level of bad jokes that we're used to. It, yeah, it happens. It's like that, but it's, you know, it always happens. On on that note. Uh, thanks for listening to another edition of the Table One Podcast. You can find us on uh, iTunes, Apple Podcasts. You can find us on Facebook, yeah. and uh, you know, go rate us on Apple Podcasts. That's the best way for other people to find us and for us to be more popular, yeah. so that all the cool kids will like we us. We need friends. We need more friends. We so need, anyway, we need people to play with us. So that sounded really creepy coming from yeah, me. Yeah, it did. You would have said it. Scott would have said yeah. it. Been okay. Yeah, so like I said, thanks for listening. I'm Josh Madden. I'm Todd. I'm Scott. <laughs> it's Scott. 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 Dr. Antley. Oh, Dr. Antley. Oh, no, not Dr. Antley. Hey, take it to the table.